Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and this week's DIY. So this week I'm going to take you through all about how to paint PVC windows and doors. And before we even get started I'm going to answer um, the question that everybody seems to ask which is can PVC windows and doors actually be painted and does it really last? Well the answer to that is of course yes because the last time I painted PVC windows was when my son was making his communion so he would have been eight years old now he turns 15 this year we sold that house last year and the windows were absolutely perfect absolutely perfect so yes you can paint PVC and yes it does last the only thing I will say of course is you have to use the right products and apply those products well but I'll take you through that now for this video I'm working on an old cottage um, in the heart of Tipperary in Ireland the windows as you can see are white PVC as is the door so I wanted to add a little bit of character to the front of the house so I wanted to change the color from white to a duck egg color so the first thing I wanted to do is give everything a really good clean. So I used 50-50 methylated spirit and water. And then I gave them all a bit of a scuff sand just to scratch up the surface a little bit. You don't have to be too rough with this, but it is easy enough with a medium grade sandpaper to create a few scratches in the surface. And this will help the primer that you're going to use really adhere. So after masking off all the windows with the washi tape, I then proceeded to apply my block set uh, with a small cutting brush. I, the brush is enough on the windows, although I did use a microfiber flawless roller for the door because obviously there was uh, a lot more expanse to do. But I found the smaller brush gave me more control on these small windows. So I gave it two full coats of the block set. Now, the one mistake I made here that I would correct if I was doing it again is I would get the block set tinted to a light gray because I was applying white block set on the white PVC and I couldn't really tell where I had done and where I hadn't until it had dried. Now when it dries, it dries into a really matte finish, so then I could tell. But it would be much easier had I got it tinted into a light grey. Or even into the colour cl close to what I was using, which was a duck egg. But I didn't and I had to apply it in white. So I have cleaned it, I have scuff sanded it, and I have primed it with my block set and of course don't forget I have also masked off all the window areas to make sure I didn't get any paint or primer on that so what do I do now so now I'm ready to paint I chose uh, advanced satin wood from the Fleetwood range in one of my own colors because as you know I have my own color collection with Fleetwood so I chose the shabby lucky duck now look at the coverage on this. One coat was amazing coverage. It just goes on like silk. But of course I do give it two coats. Now in case you're wondering about the window sills, I got the shabby lucky duck actually mixed up in tinted, should I say, into a uh, two and a half litre of masonry paint um, in my local home value. Here's a picture of it here. And that's what I painted the windowsills and the surround of the porch, which you'll see in a minute, in. Now, each day that I was finished, I wrapped up the rollers and the brush in tin foil so that I could use them again for the next day without actually washing them up. And you probably noticed from the tray, I also lined the tray with tin foil. So moving on to the door, I did exactly the same process. I cleaned, I scuff sanded and I primed and here I am applying the paint. Now I don't work this quick obviously. <laughs> this is uh, fast forwarded um, to make it speed it up should I say um, so that you don't have to watch me paint the whole door. 
but you can see how quickly the paint goes on and I gave this a full two coats again of the Shabby Lucky Duck after the primer. And as I say, the primer goes on so matte, gives a really matte finish that the paint just sticks to it really, really well. Now you will notice in the middle of this door, in the window, you see these white crossbars. They're actually in between the glass. So I thought, what am I gonna do about them? Now I know some of you have sent me questions about doors that you have with these bars in between the glass. So I was in a dilemma as to whether to leave them or whether to tape them off and actually paint the glass in the same color. So I said, look, let's paint the door first, see what it looks like with the white bars. And if it looks okay, I'll leave it. If it doesn't, then we look at it again. So you can see what you think of it after I've done the second coat. Now, I have a full detailed blog post to go along with this video uh, on the website, www.shabby.ie. And that gives you a link to every single product that I'm using in case you can't find it. Um, and if, if, it's, if I don't sell it, I'll put a link up to where I bought it. So you can try there. So don't worry about access to the products. All of that will be on the blog post that goes along with this video. Now here's a look at the door with the white bars that are in between the glass. I think it looks absolutely fab actually. Um, I really thought about it and I, the fact that the side of the porch is white as well, I thought, you know what, they look okay. I, I'm not gonna start painting the glass. I'm going to leave them as they are. So while the door was drying, I went on and I painted with my masonry paint the outside of the porch area, just to tie it all in. So that was about it. So have a look, see what you think. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled with it, I have to say. I love the duck egg against the white. Now, I'll also give a link to the white because it's a grey white, it's not a bright white that I put on this cottage. And it was actually an interior designer gave me the name of this colour. It's really nice, it's called Tanglewood. It suits an oldie worldy cottage like this is. Um, and I dragged out two of the old parts uh, that were originally with this cottage and I, I planted them up with pink geraniums just to add a bit of colour to the front. And I have to say I'm absolutely thrilled with it. Thrilled with it. Um, how long did it take altogether? Mm, I would say I spent about a week at it. Um, not because I painted and prepped for the whole week, just that you know, with running a business as well and looking after the kids and doing all the other things. Um, from start to finish was probably, probably a week. Um, so allow yourself plenty of time. I still have all the back to do, unfortunately, um, but I will get around to it when the weather improves a little bit. It's gone a bit cold again. Listen, I hope you really enjoyed that. Um, I hope you will have the confidence now to give it a go yourself. I know lots of you have already and you're sending me the pictures. And thanks so much for that. I love, love, love seeing that I have inspired you to give it a go. Um, come along and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm always doing my live stories and you can follow those along. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and you won't miss the next DIY that's coming up from Aileen of Chevy.ie. Thanks a million, guys.